Well, good morning everyone. Joy for me to welcome you to this short thought and a short prayer this morning on a Tuesday morning. It's uh, autumn time, soon to be winter as we know, and the changing scene of the garden around here reminds us of that. There seems to be change and decay in all around I see, as the old hymn says, as autumn gives way to winter. Now I'm sure there's no need for me to remind you, but next weekend the clocks need to go back an hour, an hour extra in bed something to look forward to but we know it's the beginning of winter British summertime ends and winter begins changing of the seasons I know sometimes in Greenfield on a Sunday morning in winter or summer some people turn up for the service at the wrong time some come too early an hour too early and some are very embarrassed when the rest of us are leaving the chapel that they are walking up the chapel steps they've forgotten to turn their clocks it can happen, and I'm sure it will happen this weekend again. So summer time is over and winter begins. The changing seasons around us continue. Again, year by year, God's faithfulness and variety in creation is in everything we see around us. Of course, with winter comes more dark evenings. People perhaps feel a bit more vulnerable. How can we use our time well? Well, perhaps there's someone in your street or mine who's living on their own who perhaps need a little bit of extra care at this time of year and that's a good thing to do. There are others perhaps who don't feel they can go out because of the restrictions of the pandemic. Perhaps as good neighbours we need to keep an eye and just do what we can to help and just being there for people who are in need is a great comfort to those I know who do appreciate that very, very much indeed. But the whole question of time and seasons is something that is grounded in the Bible, of course. In the book of Ecclesiastes, we read the words of Solomon when he says there is a time for every purpose under heaven. And looking back to the history of the world, we can see that Solomon was wise in the words that he says. Time, of course, is something that is precious to us as individuals. I remember when I was in Lakeview School all those years ago, we had a lovely teacher. My first teacher in junior school was a lady called Miss Henshaw. And in those days, we as children used to take our autograph books at the end of term and she'd write something in them. And she said to me this day, I'm going to write something here that's very, very important. Now you read it and you follow this. And she wrote a simple sentence that said, If you have something to do and it's hard to begin it, set right about it and don't waste a minute. I wish I could tell Miss Henshaw that I did that in my life, but I didn't do it. And you and I know sometimes we can not use our time well. But the reality is the time is here for us. And of course Solomon was wise, but Jesus was even wiser when he said, that we must use our time to help others. We look at the examples he gave, the story he gave of the Good Samaritan, a man who used his time well in order to help someone who was in need. His time here, three years of his ministry, helping and caring for others, what a wonderful truth the Incarnation tells us of, of a God who came into the world of his creation to bring love and light and hope and joy. What a wonderful celebration that is of a life that was committed to others. And it's the same for you and for me as we make our way along the pilgrimage of our lives. To do good when we can and to remember that time is only for a short period. The Bible also speaks of that which is of eternal worth. God came into the world in the fullness of time, the Bible says, that we might have time in eternity beyond time in the presence of a God who has prepared abundantly for those who trust and believe in him. We cannot begin to comprehend the greatness of God and what time really means. A thousand ages in thy sight is like an evening gone, the hymn says, and it's so wonderfully true, is it not? But while we are here, we have the opportunity of trusting Jesus, of believing in him, of seeing the extent of his love upon the cross and, and coming and repenting of our sins and receiving Lord Jesus, the Lord Jesus into our lives, that when this world is over and time is no more, we will be with him in eternity. That's the promise he made to the thief upon the cross. Today you will be with me in eternity. That man turned to him and he received life. Life that is life indeed. In all the changing scenes of life, in trouble and in joy, let us remember to be the people of God in the years in which we live and to use our time well and to spend that time in creation in redemption and in thanksgiving for that which is the eternal promise of God. Thank you for allowing me to share with you that message. May God bless you. And now let us pray. 
Father, we thank you that you have given us time that we might use that time well. We pray for those who find themselves in the midst of time, those who are in need, those who are in despair, those who feel the weight of the world upon their shoulders. Lord, be to them all that they need, and may we be channels of peace in the help and support we give to others along the way. Father, we thank you for each other this morning, wherever we may be listening or watching this short time. May we know that your presence is with us in the power of the Holy Spirit, that you are the God who transcends time and space and in the power of your Spirit enables us to know that we are never alone, that you are with us and that nothing can separate us from your love. Father, hear our prayers. Hear our prayers for others who are in need, for those who are suffering, those who are bereaved, those who are going through sad times. Bless those, Lord, who will live in lands where there is fear and enmity and war and injustice. We pray for your persecuted church, Lord, in the midst of the days in which we live. Thank you for the freedom and liberty we have to worship. Many do not know that, Lord. Many live in fear and yet are giving everything on the altar of service to you. And so now, Lord, whatever this day holds for us, whatever the time before us, whichever way we are led in whichever way we walk, May we know that you are with us, and you will neither leave us nor forsake us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, thank you, dear friends. It's beginning to rain a little bit now, so I better go in. But it's a joy to have shared with you today. I pray that God's peace and love will surround you wherever you may be. God bless from Greenfield for Netley to all our friends wherever you are. <laughs>